Okay guys, so we just got to Mount Huron, um, pretty darn close to the trailhead. Um, I just came from Mount Elbert, um, yeah, Mount Elbert, which is just a little further north. Earlier today, I um, had to kind of call an audible. My plan was to originally do Elbert and go down to the San Juans, but just time constraints, I didn't want to drive three hours. And Huron, I understand, is very pretty, so it was on my list of things to do. So I came down here to go check it out. Um, and it is pretty, I don't know if you can see this valley back behind me. It is just a gorgeous, gorgeous valley we're in. There's no camping at the trailhead, pretty much no camping on the north side of the road. There's a bunch of signs that say that. Uh, the road is definitely a four by four road. Um, I've never driven a Subaru, but I'll recommend. I wouldn't think a Subaru could get up here. If you drive a Subaru, uh, maybe I'm totally wrong, but to me, it's definitely a forerunner or Jeep type road, those types of vehicles. Um, so what we're gonna do, uh, we've got a little spot here, I'm gonna camp, and I need to get some water, I need to get some food going, and then I think I'm gonna wake up really early in the morning, probably, you know, 3, 3.30, 4 o'clock. It's a short hike, it's supposed to be very easy. Um, so I think I'm gonna do that, and then I may travel somewhere, or potentially I might go do Mount of the Holy Cross since it's such a bear um, doing that one. And it'd be nice to do a simple peak before a seriously hard peak. So it'll be good, I'm excited. Should be a lot of fun. And uh, I will talk to you guys in the morning and give you a little bit of a trail update and hopefully we can talk about some other stuff along the way. So we're at the trailhead for Huron, um, about to go south, the trail goes, once you get to the trailhead, take a left, go south, start climbing switchbacks um, to go up. Pretty remote area, it's just me and one other guy here this morning. Um, he's still in his campsite. So I think it's, um, like I said, pretty remote area, pretty remote mountain to climb. Huron, three and a half miles up this way. If you were to go straight, goes back to the lake. <laughs> Alright, so we got some light now and I think I can finally show you really what I've been dealing with all morning. My bad about the wind, I know it's going to pick up, I didn't bring my windscreen, my bad guys. But just bear with me. Um, Probably not looking like a summit day. Um, I'm just getting kind of to that edge of tree line where the trees start breaking up and we're gonna lose it. But just check out like how bad all this is this morning. Um, I just don't know what it's gonna turn into, quite frankly. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hike up a little bit further. I'm gonna see if I can wait it out. It looks like it's just socked in all day. I didn't quite um, expect this. The weather said it could break up and it might break up. I don't, I don't know. Um, but I'm gonna go up a little bit higher, kind of hunker down and see if I can find, you know, just a window at some point to make a summit. Um, I'm really not looking to get up there and get hypothermia. Um, that wind is brutal. It's pretty damn cold out here. And uh, of course, there's always the threat of lightning strike and a storm. Um, the risk isn't as much in the morning, but it, it's never not zero. So whatever that's worth. But here's an alternative. I mean, not a loss of a day. Um, down there on the north side of Mount Huron, there's, I think it's called June Lake. Um, I pointed out this morning. I may walk over into there, um, or I may just call it quits um, and, you know, come back another time. The mountain's not going anywhere. And I don't have any sort of, you know, death wish to summit this mountain. So. Um, yeah, let's just go up here. We'll find a place to hunker down and just see how it goes. Okay, so weather has definitely not improved at all. Um, a little bit further on up the trail. Getting our first good look at Mount Huron right here. Um, well, good look is uh, a relative term. It's, it's there, but it's all covered up this morning. Um, starting to sleet a little bit. And I'm afraid the inevitable is going to happen, which is me needing to turn around. And I'll talk about that here in just a second while I catch my breath. <laughs> 